assalam alaikum dear students today we are going to discuss literature and biography biography a form of literature commonly considered non fictional the subject of which is the life of an individual one of the oldest forms of literary expression it seeks to recreate in words the life of a human being as understood from the historical or personal perspective of the author by drawing upon all available evidence including that retained in memory as well as written oral pictorial material a biography is simply an account or detailed description about the life of a person it entails basic facts such as childhood education career relationships family and death biography is a literary genre that portrays the experiences of all these events occurring in a life of a person mostly in a chronological order unlike a resume or profile a biography provides a life story of a subject highlighting different aspect of his of her life Uh, a person who writes biographies is called a biography so dear students a biography is very linked with literature so we'll discuss other aspects here too about the uh, link of uh, uh, literature and biography so uh, first of all we'll discuss about the aspects of biography so here are four aspects of a biography so number 1 is historical number 2 is psychological number 3 is ethical and number 4 and last is uh, aesthetic biography so first of all we'll discuss historical biography obviously historical bi- biography is um, mentioned in name that it deals with the history so biography is sometimes uh, regarded as a branch of history and earlier biographical writing such as the 15th century memories of french consular of state uh philip de uh, comenis or george cavendish 16th century life of thomas cardinal wolsey uh, have often been treated as historical material rather than as literary works in other in their own right some entries uh, in ancient chinese uh, chronicles included biographical sketches aimed in roman hist- historian Tacitus Annals is the most famous biography of the emperor uh, Tiberius Conversely Sir uh, Winston Churchill magnificent life of his uh, ancestor John Churchill first uh, duke of uh, Marlborough can be read as a history written from a special point of view of Britain and much of Europe during the war of the Spanish uh succession so it is about uh, uh, 17 uh, 1701 to 1714 so yet there is general recognition today that history and biography are quite distinct distinct forms of literature so history usually deals in generalizations about a period of time for example the renaissance about a group of time Uh, about a group of people in time the english colonies in north america about an institution uh, monasticism during the middle ages biography more typically focuses upon a single human being and deals in the particulars of that person's life so biography is basically dealing with the uh, aspects of a person uh, um, it can be historical it can be ethical it can be Uh, um, about the knowledge and there are many uh, different aspects are also there but uh, uh, as in this point historical biography we are discussing that how it is being linked with the literature so both biography and history however are often concerned uh, with the past and it is in the hunting down evaluating and selection of sources that they are akin in this sense biography can be regard uh, re- regarded as a craft rather than an art so techniques of research and general rules for testing evidence can be learned by anyone and thus need involve comparatively little of that personal commitment associated with art so it is being linked with art so art is also is the aspect of literature so a biographer in a pursuit of an individual long dead is 
uh, usually hampered by a lack of sources it is often impossible to check or verify what written evidence there is there are no witness to cross examine no method has yet been developed by which to overcome such problems each life however presents its own opportunities as well as specific difficulties to the biographer so um, biographer the uh, ingenuity with which the biographer handles gaps in the record by providing information for example about the age that costs light upon the subject has much to do with the quality of the resulting work so it is all about the uh, historical biography so the biographer writing the life of a person recently dead is often faced with the opposite problem and uh, abundance of living witnesses uh, and a plethora of materials which include the subjects paper and letters uh, sometime uh, transcriptions of telephone conversation and conferences as well as the record of interviews granted to the biographer uh, by the uh, subjects friends and associates associates so basically this is all about the biographer and biography and the history so uh, the second aspect is psychological biography so assembling a string of facts in chronological uh, order does not constitute the life of a person it only gives an outline of events the biographer therefore seeks to uh, elicit from his materials the motives for his subjects actions and to discover the shape of his personality the biographer who has known his subject in life enjoys the advantage of his own direct impressions often uh, fortified uh, by what the subject has uh, himself revealed in conversations and his having lived in the same era thus avoiding the pitfalls in depicting distinct centuries but on debit side uh, such a biographer's view is colored by the emotional factor almost uh, inevitably present in a living association so biographers of the 20th century uh, have had at their disposal uh, the psychological theories and practice of sigmund freud and his followers and reviles uh the extent of which these new biographical tools for the unlocking of personality have been employed and the results of their use have varied greatly on the other hand uh, on the one hand some biographers have developed upon their pages the apparatus of psychological revelation uh, analysis of behavior symbols interpretation based on the oedipus complex deduction of uh, jungian patterns of behavior and the like other biographers usually the author of uh, scholarly large scale lives have continued to ignore the psychological method while still others uh, thus avoiding uh, explicit psychological analysis and terminology have not um, have not less presented aspect of their subject behaviors in such a way as to suggest psychological interpretations so now we'll discuss about the ethical biography the biographer particularly uh, the biographer of a contemporary is often confronted with an ethical problem how much of the truth as he has been able to uh, ascertain it should be printed since the inception of biographical criticism in the later 18th century uh this somewhat er- arid because unanswerable question has dominated both li- uh, literary and popular discussions of biographical literature upon the publication of the life of samuel johnson uh, james boswell was bitterly accused of slandering his celebrated subject so more than a century and a half later lord mons winston churchill the struggle for survival 1940 to 1965 Uh, and 1966 in which lord moran used the baswellian techniques of reproducing conversations from his immediate notes and jotting was attacked in much the same terms through the question was complicated by lord moran's conf- confidential position as churchill uh, in the united states william uh, manchester's death of a president 1967 on john f kennedy 
created an even uh, an even greater stir in the popular press there are the issue is usually presented as the public right to know but for the biographer it is a problem of his obligation to preserve historical truth as measured against the personal anguish he may inflict on others in doing so so since so uh, no standard of biographical moral morality has ever been agreed upon boswell lord moran and manchester have all for example had uh, eloquent defenders the individual biographer must steer his own course that course in the 20th century is sometimes complicated by the uh, refusal of the custodians of the papers of important persons particularly national political figures to provide access to all the documents so uh, now we'll discuss uh, aesthetic biography aesthetic biography while related to history in its search for facts and its responsibility truth is truly a branch of literature because it seek it seeks to elicit from facts by selection and design the illusion of a life actually being lived within the bounds of given data the biographer seeks to transform plain information into illumination if he invents or uh, suppresses material in order to create an effect he fails truth if he is content to recount facts he fails art uh this tension between uh, the requirements uh, sorry the re- the requirements of uh authenticity and the necessity for an imaginative ordering of materials to achieve life likeness is perhaps best exemplified in the biographical problem of time so on the other hand biographer seeks to portray the unfolding of a life with all its course Uh, cross currents of interest changing emotional states uh, events yet in order to uh, avoid reproducing the confusion and the clutter of actual daily existence he must inter- interrupt the flow of uh, diurnal uh, time and the group his m- material so as to reveal traits of personality grand themes of experience and the actions and attitude leading to moments of high decision his achievements as a biographical artist will be measured in great part by his ability to suggest the sweep of chronology and yet to highlight the major patterns of behavior that give a life a, uh, its shape and meaning so now we'll discuss about some examples uh, biography how biography is being uh, discussed in literature so first of all we'll we'll discuss some example number 1 a shakespeare a life by park honan uh, so this biography is the most accurate up to date and complete narrative ever written about the life of william shakespeare park honan has used rich and fresh information about shakespeare in order to change the perceptions of readers for the playwright and his role as a poet and actor this book completely differs from the biographies that imagine different roles from him for him uh commenting on his sexual relationships and colorful uh intrigues uh through detailed psychological theories and imaginative reforms about the famous playwright could be amusing in fact they uh, uh, damage the uh credibility of the sources therefore many attempts have been made to know about shakespeare but this one is a unique example so number second example is here uh arthur miller attention must be paid by james campbell so this biography is written in the form of a drama presented in just two acts in the first act the author shows the famous dramatist arthur miller in his early success having the love of the most beloved woman in the world and resisting uh, tyranny however in the second act of this biography the author shows that the hero was badly uh assaulted and re- ridic by a road mob called critics who are expelled from the conventional theater he ends his book with his rhetorical details related to revitalization in the in the fortunes of the playwright so example number 3 is here the life of 
Samuel Johnson by James Boswell. So this biography is frequently hampered uh, as a perfect example of modern biography and all time best example in the English language. The masterpiece of James Boswell has uh, covered the whole life of the uh, ubiquitous literary uh, writer Samuel Johnson with the home Boswell was well acquainted. The unique quality of this book is that shows Johnson as a walking, uh, walking intellectual among us. So example number four is here, The Bronte Math uh, by uh, Lucaster Mill, Emily Ann and Charlotte Brown uh, were very famous and eminent writers in the history of English literature. Many rumors and gossips were associated, associated with them when they reached and, um, the peaks of their careers and received great approval for writing the most admired uh, novels for the, of the 19th century in their, bi in their biography. Lucasta Miller chunks the myths related to these young uh, enigmatic women. This is the fine example of a biography. So last example uh, is why this word um, a, a biography of uh, Clarice Lispector by Benjamin Mosser. Uh, after pursuing his own private uh, manuscripts and uh, writings, the modernist writer Benjamin Mosser has explored the uh, mystique surrounding uh, Brazilian writer. Uh, this is one of the Mosser's biographies which comes to a little closer to finding here uh, her true uh, nuances. Uh, all those readers who are going to read her uh, may read of works for the first time uh, would find his, this biography this biography interesting and her life as a beautiful and tragic yet rewriting so day student that's all inshallah see you soon thank you allah Hafiz.